in the electrical and electronics field, we use very large and very small quantities. So looking at the our numbering system, if I write it out like this. This is the way I have everyone memorize it. The ones, and we know this is the tens, this is the hundreds. This one is the thousands, the entire thing. This being the ones of thousands, the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands. This is the millions, being the ones of millions, the tens of millions, and the hundreds of millions. On the other side of the decimal point, these numbers are fractional, and they are the thousandths. This is the millionths, and this is the billionths. Let's call that unity. So if I had the number 32,224,000, I would know that I have three ten millions, two million, two hundred thousands, two ten thousands, and four thousands for a total of thirty two million two hundred twenty four thousand. To most of you, this may be fairly simple. You probably see this number right here, and you could read it out very easily. We still need to go over this, just in case. And I set every placeholder off by commas. You've probably seen this. Someone writes a 1,000. They write it that way. It's also convenient if you're writing out 100 million. And you just count the placeholders. You know, this is the first one, which is unity. This is 1,000. So this must be millions to this comma. So 100 million is that value. We'll look at the number 0 0.0063. If you get that on the calculator as an answer, you would say it's 6.3. The decimal point would be, is only substituted where a comma would go because they're in clusters of 3. All exponents are in powers of 3. So this is 6.3 times 10 to the negative third. And of course the 10 to the negative third meaning 10 times 10 times 10 and then the negative meaning 1 over that. You also need to understand that 1 divided by a number is equal to that number to the power of negative 1 which is where this comes from. That's why we use negative numbers for the fractional values. One divided by a thousand is a thousandth. So 6.3 times one thousandth is 6.3 thousandths. It may be confusing, I know, but it's really very simple. It just takes time to get all of these metric prefixes, the place names, which you should know already, and also the engineering notation for that placeholder. So altogether that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven placeholders I want you to memorize. Of course there are ones for trillion which is tera and then so on but we're not worried about those for electronics. 
So here's some problems. Converting these, and I want these to be converted to engineering notation and written out. So with engineering, this would be 32 times 10 to the 6th, which is 32 million. Ten thousand be ten times ten to the third, which is ten thousand. Also may switch them around. I may ask I have one hundred thousand and I want that in engineering notation. So that would be one hundred times ten to the third. Also, 55.25 million 200,000. That in engineering notation. That's 55.2 million. Okay, so for the homework, it's going to look something like this. We'll have the number written out and I want the number with engineering as engineering notation and I want it using the metric prefix. You're probably thinking why it's called a prefix when it goes after the number. Let's go ahead and do this one. This would be 320 kilo. That's because it's before the unit. Say this is 300,000 or 320,000 apples. It would be 300 20 kilo apples, which could be abbreviated A or something if that's what we abbreviated apples as. Okay, so this is 320,000 without any unit. It's not apples, oranges, volts, amperes, anything. This is 320,000, so it's 320K, and in engineering it would be 320 times 10 to the power of 3. The next one is 15 million. It's 15 times 10 to the sixth, which is 15 mega. Remember, this is lowercase, this is capital. Lowercase k, capital doesn't look like it. There we go. This large number would be written in engineering notation as 37.25. And it'd be 37.25 billion, which is times 10 to the ninth. Times 10 to the ninth, the metric prefix for that, which is of course billion, is giga, capital G. The next one, 3,270, be 3,000, 3.27 times 10 to the third which is 3.27K. Examples that are fractional. I may or may not insert the commas to set off the placeholders. Remember, it's in clusters of three. And you could read the numbers fairly easily. Remember that they're in clusters of three. This first comma after the decimal point would be the thousandths place. So this would be 2.5 thousandths. 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. That just means that this is 1 divided by 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1 over 1,000, which is a thousandth. 
those 2.5 thousandths, which is what it is. It's easy how that works. The metric pre prefix, 2.5 thousandths. The metric prefix for thousandths is milli. The next one is 501 millionths. I know it could be 0 .501 thousandths, but I don't want to still use a decimal point before the numbers. I'd rather see it 501 times 10 to the negative sixth. And that means it's 501 micro, which is the Greek letter lowercase mu. It's a U with a line on the left side. The next one is 22.6 millionths. which is 22.6 micro. You see with these smaller numbers it's a lot easier to write 22.6 mu than point three zeros, another zero, two two six. That's a lot to write out. To help you with your homework for this module. I have included this document, the Module 1 Lesson 0 Engineering Notation and Metric Prefix Examples PDF. You'll see at the top, starting at the decimal point, there is times 10 to the zeroth, which has no need for any notation or prefix. The number 365 is e it's easy enough to write just 365. For the thousands place, this is times 10 to the third, which is 10 times 10 times 10. And anything in this placeholder is being multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. So if I have 3, 2 here, there's 3, 2, comma, 0, 0, 0. That's 32,000. And by the exponent, the power of 10, it's 32 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is still 32,000. There's also the millions place, which is times 10 to the 6th, the billions place, which is times 10 to the 9th. For fractional numbers, that is numbers that are a fraction of 1, we have the thousandths place, the millionth place, and the billionth place. So below these, I have included the metric prefix names and their abbreviations. And remember, they go after the quantity once it's been changed over. All of these arbitrary zeros are just there to show how the placeholders fill in. They're all in clusters of three. Again, from what I said earlier, use commas to set off the main placeholder names. So any quantity within this placeholder to the comma is in the thousands place so if I had 553 it would be 553 just like you'd say 553 if it were in this column but you say 553 and then the placeholder name which is thousand an example 1000 1000 is equal to 1 times 10 to the third and that's with a metric prefix one kilo. 50,000 is equal to 50 times 10 to the third which would be 50 kilo. A very small number point zero 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 five is five millionths. That's five times 10 to the negative sixth. Of course the 10 to the negative sixth meaning one divided by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 which would be 1 1 millionth 5 times 10 to the negative 6 is the way to write that in engineering and replacing the times 10 to the negative 6 with the metric prefix gives us 5 micro so it's a lot easier to write 5 mu 5 lowercase mu than it is to write 0.000005. 
So that's why we write answers this way in electronics. Dealing with a very large number, 16 million. This is 16 times 10 to the 6th. So that's 16 million. That's 16 mega, or 16 capital M. Thirty-two billion. It's thirty-two. It's in the billions place. So it's thirty-two times ten to the ninth. It's basically nine placeholders away from the decimal point. And that's thirty-two gig or thirty-two giga. The next is five hundred twelve billion one hundred fifty million. As you can see. It's not a, too much of a trick to say the numbers. It's 512, that placeholder. Say this number outright, that placeholder, and the rest are zero, so you, have to, you don't have to say anything for those. So it's just 512 billion, 150 million. And that would simplify to, inserting the decimal point here, it would be 512.15 times 10 to the ninth, because it's 512 billion and 0 0.150 billion. So it's 512.150 billion. And that is equal to 512.15 giga. The next one is 2,500,000. And that would be equal to 2.5 times 10 to the sixth, which is 2.5 mega. Say you had an answer on your calculator of 2,543,226 and you wanted to round that to the nearest 100,000 and assign a metric prefix on your answer. So it would round to 2,500,000 and that would simplify to 2.5 mega when you're using the metric prefix. Same goes with this example. Maybe on your calculator your answer was 32,224,817,612 and you wanted to round it to the nearest 1 billion. Maybe that was accurate enough for your answer. So you would round it, it would be 32 times 10 to the ninth, which is 32 giga. The next one is just showing 1 and it's 1 times 10 to the 0. T anything to the power of 0 is just 1. So this is meaning 1 times 1, which is just 1. 50.5. It's 50.5 times 10 to the 0, or zeroth. And that equals 50.5. There's no need for a metric prefix for engineering notation. This is just showing that it it's 1 times 10 to the 0 because it's 0 places the decimal point moved 0 places to represent this placeholder. The next one is 1500 so that's 1500 and 1500 is 1 1.5 thousand so 1.5 times 10 to the third which is 1.5 kilo. The next is a fractional number, 147.5 millionths. This is also 0.1475 thousandths, but we don't want decimal points. I want to have the full placeholder. I want the placeholder not be a fraction. We're already dealing with a fractional number, so why have another fraction in the answer? So this would simplify to 147. 0.5 micro. That's 147.5 times 10 to the negative 6, 10 to the negative 6, meaning 1 millionth. So it's 147 and a half, 1 millionths. That's like taking one hole and dividing it a million times. You have 147 and a half of those small, tiny parts of whatever quantity it is. Maybe length, time. The next is. 
this would be 15.75 times 10 to the negative third. We don't need this last zero. We could say 15.750 times 10 to the negative third. But since it's to the right, it doesn't really change the quantity. And that's 15.75 milli. Okay, the next, still have the placeholder names, the engineering notation, the metric prefix and abbreviation here at the top. The first number is 0 .00000135. That's 1.35 times 10 to the negative sixth, which is equal to 1.35 micro. The next number is 57,100,000, and that would simplify to 57.1 times 10 to the sixth, which is 57.1 million. You should understand that if someone won the lottery and it said in the newspaper that they won 57.1 million, that that would mean 57 million and 0.1 million, which would be 57,100,000, because one tenth of a million is 100,000. 0.1 is, of course, one-tenth. The next one, 125,200. This example would simplify to 125.2 times 10 to the third, which is 125.2 kilo. I'll let you read through the rest of these. And I should introduce you to this, where, say, an example on the calculator shows up as 0.02. It's not going to insert that arbitrary trailing zero in there. It's just going to say 0 0.02. So what is that number in engineering notation? It's not f completely filling up its placeholder. Remember on fractional quantities, the zero, the zero to the right of the decimal point is the placeholder. It's actually the more zeros we have in front of this two, the smaller the quantity would be. But what is this number 0 0.02 using the proper metric prefix? Remember that the trailing zero must be added to complete the placeholder. It doesn't change its value. So 0 0.02 is equal to 0 0.020 0, comma. Remember, every three spaces we get a comma to represent that placeholder name. So this is 20 thousandths. It's actually, if you were to read it out, it would be two hundredths. But two out of 100 and 20 out of 1,000 is the same number once you reduce. So 0.02 is the answer that shows up on the calculator. You need to assume the zero after it. So this answer written in engineering notation would be 20 times 10 to the negative third. And 20 thousandths is 20 milli. Milli, of course, means 1 thousandth or 10 to the negative third. See the additional problems here? 0 000 .000007. Say this is the answer that shows up, or that's what it rounds to, to the nearest hundred billionth. You need to assume the zeros in that placeholder. So even though this is 0.7 millionths, it's also 700 billionths. 0.7 out of a million and 700 out of a billion is the same thing once you reduce. So this would be 700 times 10 to the negative ninth which is 700 nano. You could also say that it's 0.7 micro, but again, I prefer fractional numbers not be used when this is already a fraction. So no point zero or point anything. It's a 700 nano. You need those zeros to fill in that placeholder. The next one is 1 fourth, which as a decimal is just, of course, 1 divided by 4, which is 0.25. You need to assume the zero so it's 250 times 10 to the negative third, which is 250 milli. That's 250 thousandths. If you deal with machine work, um, pretty much every piece of steel you use is in thousandths of an inch. So this is probably fairly familiar. You would understand that 25 hundredths is the same as 250 thousandths. So I hope this helps with the homework.